This is National Tree Day. A series of events took place all across town to mark the occasion. They are all events that will remain in the city as a legacy to this community's efforts to promote a healthy globe. Trees. We love trees in this community, and two new trees, a fir and a pine, have been planted next to a new plaque unveiled today in Dutchess Park. Which is, is, I'm very proud of this. It marks another successful year of helping local businesses identify their carbon footprint with the help of UNBC students. The students pair up with businesses and the businesses provide the students with such information as your utility bills, usually from Fortis and BC Hydro, their employee commute information as well as their transportation information of goods coming in to and from, uh, business trips, etc. And the students provide them back with a free carbon footprint analysis. Rochelle Lind took part in the carbon management course at UNBC, which does the work directly with the businesses. She says she became something of a carbon reduction junkie because of it. This summer, for example, I was able to, I was living on North Vancouver Island, and it's quite a remote community, so being sustainable is sometimes kind of an inconvenience, but working with my coworkers and myself and constantly gently harassing them to uh, kind of be more aware of what we're, what we're using and how we're using it, definitely something that came out of this course. And, just knowing that impact behind, like I can see the connections now between like what's actually being emitted in terms of carbon and, you know, just your day-to-day -day activities. That love of trees is why Prince George was chosen as one of 150 Canadian communities to receive 150 trees to celebrate National Tree Day and Canada's 150th birthday. And all kinds of trees, from sugar maples to lilacs. It's a collaboration between a whole bunch of parties to make it happen. Acting Mayor Garth Frizzell had praise for Tree Canada, which has now planted 83 million trees across the nation. It's a nationwide uh, organization but what a more fitting place than Prince George to do it. I mean, we're with trees so central to our economy, to our region, to our outdoors enjoyment. Uh, it's a fantastic program. But planting trees is not the sole thing we can do to fight the carbon fight. Lind says when she talks to people about ways to reduce their footprint, they get it. Some people are a little more resistant to it because it's like, oh, but this is harder. Um, so getting around that kind of mental block, and I think everybody has it, I've experienced it myself. Um, for example, it's always more convenient to just get in your car and drive as opposed to get on your bike. Um, but definitely like having that awareness and just like the motivation behind yourself, knowing that this in the grand scheme of things is better for not just myself, but for the world. The program has helped 25 local businesses and UNBC has committed to running the program through to 2019 with the Chamber as a facilitator. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.